what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we've got this super duper uh it kind of clapped just very uh old ktm 125 sx it's a 2003 uh guy I got it from was the original owner and i mean it's been sitting since 2009 so that's the backstory on it got it for 500 dollars cash so not a bad deal especially with our code prices it's got some compression uh not a crazy amount so maybe could be a reason why i won't start if it needs a new top end definitely needs a carb clean definitely need to drain the gas out of it also wouldn't be a bad idea to put a new air filter in it because it's probably super dirty but along with the bike for the 500 dollars, we've got all the original paperwork and owner's manuals and everything and there we got a pro circuit pipe We've got the stock pipe, another pro circuit platinum pipe, whole bunch of plastics, brake lines, bars, a couple silencers. Uh, here are the stock reeds for it. Uh, we've got a what's it called? I think it's a VHM or something head. I don't know what it is. It's got the little insert. I think it's high compression or something. It's got extra throttle cable or throttle tubes, brakes, everything literally that you need for a KTM. Everything's here. Here's the current setup in the garage. 2018 YZ125, 2020 YZ250X, 2008 CRF150R. There's my mountain bike. Uh, oh, here we have a 2019 YZ125, 2014 CRF250R. Here's the 2017 KX85, which is gonna go up to 100 big bore. And then here we have my 2018 Honda Grom, complete pile of junk. We also got some bikes outside and in the back, but those are all smaller bikes, like regular like Honda Trail bikes and TTRs and stuff like that, Raptor 80. But I mean, we got right about 500 bucks worth of extra parts here and a bike, uh, which shouldn't be too hard to get running. It's got decent tires on it from 10 years ago. It's been in a shed. It's going to need the clutch bled for sure. There's like nothing here. Uh, front brakes are good. Back brakes need to be bled. But let's try to get it running if we can. I'm going to have to make some room in the garage here because we are currently completely full so yeah let's get to working on this thing let's take a look at this air filter uh great condition i mean this is exactly what you want running in your bikes if it's not like that you can tell very fresh uh really easy to uninstall that's exactly what you're looking for so that's a good thing Let's get the rest of this thing out. Alrighty, let's check out the condition of this carburetor. This is probably gonna be kind of scary. We're gonna get it. Oh, check out that. That's exactly what we want to see. Let's get a rag in there. Just it's about to get it real dirty in there. <laughs> that is not gas. Well, that's like ten year old gas. that stuff dripping everywhere it's disgusting uh let's pull out these uh uh 
the jets. They're probably clogged, so yeah. Alrighty, so we got the whole carb apart. Check out that float bowl. Super dirty. Uh, not exactly what you want to see taking apart a bike, but uh, the only issue is that both of the jets are a little bit clogged, and this is dirty, so hopefully we can get her fired up today if we clean them all out. And yeah, let's clean out this float bowl. This is a little before. I'll get you guys an after in about a second. Alrighty guys, it's like two days later. I just put the carburetor on this morning. Uh, let's see if it fires up. That was an idle, very good, but she runs. So I guess that's a plus. Uh, I think what we'll do now is probably take off these graphics, take off the seat cover has the OEM one under it, and I'll see if I can sell it today. Not gonna do a whole lot of work. This is just another day of me flipping a dirt bike, not making it a nice dirt bike and then selling it, and making a little less profit, but making more off of the YouTube video. This is just solely to show you guys how you can make money buying good deals. $500, I could probably sell it right now for right around two grand. It'll still leave somebody else with some money to make after they fix it up, make it nice, do everything like that. Uh, I've got all these extra parts to sell or I'll sell it to the guy that wants it if he really does want them. But we'll see, it's a whole bunch of extra parts. We've got all these other builds to work on, so we gotta move some of the bikes. Also thinking of getting a jet ski, so everything's gotta go. And the taco's 100% finished now. Thing looks <whistles> not bad. So yeah, let's get some pictures of this bike and post it up for sale. Another issue with the bike, hydraulic clutch. Uh, well, the, the clutch is completely dry. There's nothing in here. So what you do is, pretty sure you put brake fluid in it. Yeah, or no, mineral oil. So, I think I have some. You put it in there uh, and then you just back bleed it. That's the way I'll do it. You pull off these two things and you push on the back and it'll bleed it out. So that way we can use a clutch. So yeah, let's see if we can get that fixed. Otherwise I'll just sell it the way it is. It's just some stuff that's not really worth. Alrighty, clutch back in business. Uh, it's got pressure now and it works. You can have the clutch in and still have the bike running. We need to throw some air in the tires because obviously the tubes are gonna go down a little in pressure if you let it sit for uh, the 12 years, 11 years. Now it's 12 years of sitting since 2009. Uh, it's pretty impressive that it's still uh, alive, to be honest. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wash it, but I'm gonna do pull off of all of pull off all of these graphics here. Uh, and then pull off the seat cover. You can see it has a little rip in the back, but I took it off and there's the OEM cover under there, which should be all black. So just red, orange and black. That'll look good for the bike. Uh, with some decent tires, I could probably pull 23 for it right now, the way it sits. $1,800 profit. Is that 18? Yeah, around $1,800 of profit without working very much on the bike at all. Carb clean, take off graphics, take off a seat cover and bleed the clutch. So, yeah, let's get uh, taking off these graphics. Monkey.